Hi everyone, welcome to PMA's knowledge sharing session. My name is Siddharth Pandey. I'll be showing you how to use P6 in a more efficient way with some quick and handy functionalities. Trick number one, finding the open ends in a schedule. So we all know that an ideal schedule should have only two open ends. One, the project start and the other is project completion. But what if before issuing a schedule, you have to do a spot check and see how many open ends you have. What I have over here is a test project for a commercial building. Let's say somewhere around like 100 activities. Now, when we are finding the open ends, we are basically checking to see how many activities are not having any predecessor or successor. Imagine doing that by going on one activity at a time and checking the relationships. Can be pretty painful if you're reviewing a schedule for around 3,000 3, activities. So how do we save our time? We use, the, we use the view log functionality of P6. All you have to do is hit F9 or schedule the particular project. Click on this icon over here. What we see is a schedule dialog box, which we use to run the projects. Now, what you'll see is a small tool over here, which says log to file. Check the box, run the schedule, and open the dialog box again. What we'll see now is a view log button. This generates a notepad file, which can quickly give us the statistics for our project. What we are interested is the errors tab, which basically gives us the list of activities without predecessor and the successors of the project. I hope you enjoyed our knowledge sharing session. And for more information, visit pmaconsultants.com.